Hello, my friend. Today's class is a very, very nice alignment-based practice that I actually designed specifically for my mom. So shout out to Heidi Lyons, and I hope you enjoy the practice too. We'll come to the top of our mats. Bring your feet together. Hands to prayer. Close your eyes. Bow your chin towards your chest. Take an inhale through your nose. And exhale it all out. bringing your eyes open. On inhale, reach both arms up overhead. Press your palms together and look up. And then as you exhale, side bend over to the right. You can grab your left wrist or you can interlace your fingers. Look underneath your left armpit. Take a deep breath into your side and a deep breath out. Good. Inhale, come back to center. We'll switch sides. Exhale over to the left side. Look underneath your right armpit. Good, big breath into the side, and big breath out. Inhale, back to center, palms press, look up. Exhale, swing the arms wide as you fold forward. You can bend your knees. Once you get there, just put your hands on the ground, bend your knees a little if you need to, relax your head. Good, on inhale, look up, step your right foot back to a lunge. And on exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Find your plank pose on inhale. And exhale, put your knees down and then lower chest and chin to the earth as you arch your back. Inhale for cobra pose, press the tops of your feet into the mat, lift your chest. And exhale, tuck your toes, push your seat to your heels and find downward facing dog. On inhale, go ahead and step your right foot forward Use your hand a little bit if you need to. And exhale, both feet together at the top of your mat and fold forward. Inhale, reach your arms up as you stand. And go all the way back down as you exhale, swing your arms wide, hands down. Inhale, look up, step your left foot back to a lunge. And exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Plank pose on inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin to the earth. Inhale, cobra pose. Lift your chest up, shoulders down. Exhale, tuck your toes, push your seat back, and come up to downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward in between your hands. You can inch it forward with your left hand. And exhale, right foot forward, feet together, and fold. Stand up, inhale, reach the arms up, palms press. Exhale, arms by your sides, look forward. Good, so standing tall, spread your toes wide, pick up all 10 of your toes, and then one at a time, put your pinky toe down so the toes are nice and fanned out. Then you have a soft bend in your knees. It's so micro, you might not even be able to see it. Soft bend in the hips. Lifting your chest up, arms by your sides, mountain pose. Sun salutation A. On inhale, reach your arms around and up, opening up the shoulders. And exhale, as you fold, suck your navel back in towards your spine and put your hands down. Inhale, look up, flatten your back to prepare. And exhale, step back to a plank and lower down halfway for Chaturanga Dandasana. Push your heels back, pull your heart forward. Inhale for upward dog, come on the tops of your feet, lift your chest up. And exhale for downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. And we'll take a couple breaths here. Spread your fingertips nice and wide, inhale. As you exhale, rotate your triceps back. Inhale, relax the shoulders. And exhale, look at your navel or at your thighs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, bend your knees and look forward. Step forward, feet together. Inhale, flatten your back out, look forward. Exhale, pull your navel in, 
fold forward, relax your head. Use the strength in your legs, feel your feet on the ground as you inhale, rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, arms by your sides. Well done. Sun salutation B, so your feet are together, find that mountain pose again. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, bend your knees, sweep the arms forward and up, sit nice and low. Exhale, fold forward, put your hands down and then straighten your legs. Inhale, flat back, look up to prepare. Exhale, step back to a plank and lower down halfway chaturanga, hold it there, building strength. Inhale, upward dog, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, downward dog, lift your hips up and back. Good, inhale, step the right foot behind the right wrist. And then exhale, spin your back heel down. We're gonna find warrior one. Use the strength in your right leg. Come on up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, push your hands together, bend your front knee. Take a big back bend, inhale. And exhale, bring your hands back down. Spin your back heel up. Inhale, step the right foot back to a plank. And exhale, lower halfway for chaturanga. Well done. Inhale, upward dog, lift the chest up. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the left foot to warrior one. So step behind the left wrist. Spin the back heel down as you exhale. Come on up, nice and easy. Inhale, palms pre press, look up. Bend the front knee as you exhale, settle. Big back bend, inhale, lean. Exhale, bring your hands down. Back heel up, inhale, step back to a plank. And exhale, lower halfway. Remember, your heart is coming forward. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's take a deep breath in. Breathe out for one, navel back, look back. Inhale. Exhale, two, rotating your triceps back towards the back of the room. Inhale, exhale, three, quadriceps are strong, pushing your heels down. Inhale, exhale, four, inhale, and as you exhale, bend your knees, look up. Inhale, step forward, come to a nice flat back, and exhale, fold. Utkatasana, inhale, bend the knees, reach up. Samasitihi, exhale, stand, put your arms by your sides. Very nice. Hold your waist and step your feet hips width distance apart. Lift the chest up, elbows back, chin up, inhale. Exhale, navel back, fold forward, and then hook, hook your, your, your big toes with your peace fingers. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward, elbows wide. Good. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Nice deep inhale. A full exhale. One more deep breath. And settle as you exhale. Inhale, look up, let go of your toes. And exhale, step on your hands, palms face up, fingers face you. Inhale, look forward, you can bend your knees at home if you need to. And then exhale as you fold forward, use the strength of your arms. Breathe in. Breathe out, one, there's no tension in your neck. Breathe in. Breathe out, two, your legs are very strong here. Breathe in, and breathe out, three. Good, inhale, look up, free your hands. Bring your feet as wide as the mat, turn your toes out, and then as you exhale, start to sit the hips down. You can even sit on a block here too. I'm gonna face you. So sitting down in your yogi squat. If you can't come down that far, that's okay. You can hang out up here too. Just how we're far, we're opening up the hips. Take a deep breath in, and 
the breath out. Head you're all the way down here. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Inhale. And exhale, let's forward fold. Put your hands down, turn the toes forward. Lift the hips up and heel toe your feet together. I'm gonna to come back to the front of my mat. From here, inhale, look forward, halfway lift. And exhale, downward dog. Hands down, step back, lift your hips up and back. Good. Inhale, step the right foot behind the right wrist. And exhale, spin your back heel down for warrior one. Strengthen your legs and rise on up. Press your palms together. Nice. As you're turning the hips to face forward here, bending the knee over the ankle, the back foot's kind of on an angle and I'm turning my heart forward. As I press my palms together, I lean back. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Now roll the shoulders back and straighten the front leg for one breath. Lift your chest up, look up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend your front knee for humble warrior. Bring the chest down and bring the head down towards the inside of the right foot. Palms press together so the heels of the hands are pressing. Shoulders are rolling back, head is relaxed. And then take your right hip, pull it towards the midline of the mat. Nice, one more breath in. And a breath out. Warrior one, come on back up. Inhale, straighten the leg for one breath. And open up to warrior two as you exhale. Mindful movement. Now for warrior two, the front heel intersects with the arch of the back foot. Front knee is bent, hips are open, reach the arms long, relax the shoulders, and gaze past your front middle finger. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Strengthen the back leg. On the inhale, straighten the front leg, strong quadricep, reach forward, forward, forward. See, I'm pulling my hips back. And exhale, right hand onto the right shin, left arm in the air, look up at your left thumb. Roll the left shoulder back, so the shoulder blades are trying to kiss together. I'm stacking my body sideways, like I'm trying to squeeze it between the pages of a book here. And don't strain your neck. If your neck hurts, look down. One more breath in. And a breath out. Oh, that feels nice. Back up to warrior two. Inhale, lift your torso, reach the arms, and then bend your front knee nice and easy. Peaceful warrior. Flip the right palm, slide the left hand down the back of the left leg, look up and reach up. Deep breath, open the heart towards the sky, lean back, breathe in. Exhale, side angle. So put your elbow on your knee. You could put it down inside the foot too. Reach the left arm forward and rotate the heart towards the sky. Plug that left shoulder into the back of the body and look up underneath the left armpit. Strengthen the right shoulder so that you're not collapsing. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Good, look down. Take both of your hands down on either side of the foot and the back heel comes up here in a low lunge. Take your back foot, hop it in about 12 inches or so, straighten the front leg. If you have a block, you can use it here for your pyramid pose. Pull your heart forward and pull the right hip up and back as you strengthen the front leg. Breathe in. Exhale, fold over the leg. Chin comes forward towards the shin. Keep pulling the right hip back, breathing into the stretch. Next breath, bend your knee, look up. We'll just come right back into downward facing dog from here. We'll do the other side. Uh, pedal the feet out, rock the hips back and forth. You're doing well. Find your stillness in your down dog. And let's take the left foot forward. Inhale behind the left wrist. Exhale, spin the back heel down. So again, the toes are on an angle. Rise on up as you inhale, palms press, look up and sink into that front knee, rotating the hips forward, heart forward, look up, index knuckles press, and lean back. Deep breath in. And out. Hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Do it the other way this time, other pinky on top. Straighten the arms, straighten the leg, lift your chin, and come on down as you exhale. Bend the knee, humble warrior. 
devotional warrior. Pull the left hip towards the midline of the mat. You wanna squeeze the shoulder inside the knee if you can, and then rotate the hips so that they're trying to go forward, palms pressing, head relaxed. One full breath in, and out. Back to warrior one, come on up, and then straighten your front leg for warrior two. We have to adjust our legs. So the left foot kind of comes to the middle, spreading the arms, spreading the chest. Now for warrior two, my back foot, it's facing kind of forward. It's never gonna go towards the back. Spread the arms, spread the chest, settle into the knee. Open that knee up towards the left. So you're engaging the outer side of the leg. Look past your front middle finger for a breath in. And a breath out. Straighten your front leg. Strengthen the quadricep to lift the kneecap up. If you pull the hips back, reach the left fingers forward, forward, forward. Left hand, left shin, right arm. Breathe in. Pull the right shoulder back. Breathe out, ground it into the body. Look up or look down if you have a little pain in your neck. Well done. Back to warrior two. Inhale, come up, bend the knee slowly as you exhale. The peaceful warrior, flip the left palm. I like to reach forward to find length, then look up as I lean back, follow the finger, slide the right hand down. Half bind is an option. Heart towards the sky, big breath. Exhale for your side angle, left knee, left elbow. Right arm forward. Rotate the heart towards the sky. Hand can go on the floor or a block as well. Grounding down into the outer edge of the right foot to find one more inch of space. Breathe in. Exhale, look down. Hands frame the foot for low lunge, spin your back heel up, and then take the back foot, hop it in about 12 inches, straighten the front leg, pull the hip back, lengthen your heart forward, navel back, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Keep grounding down into the big toe mound of the left foot to pull the left hip up and back. That's gonna lengthen your hamstrings. For one more breath, go for it. Love the effort. Come back to a downward facing dog, push back, and pedal the hips back and forth. From downward dog, take a breath in. Bend your knees as you exhale, look up. And then walk forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Roots arise, bend your knees. Flat back, reach the arms up, and then strengthen your legs to stand. Exhale, arms by your sides. We'll take a couple standing postures here. I'm gonna face you, stay where you are. So I'm doing my right leg, you're doing your right leg too. Inhale, pull the right knee in towards your chest. Start by just giving it a nice little hug here. And then as you open the right knee towards the side, take, take the foot and place it on the inside of the leg. Just avoid the knee. It could go up here. It might go on the calf. It could possibly go on the floor as well. Big toe mound is kind of just planted on the floor. And then the heel is on the inside of my ankle. So wherever is accessible for you, start with hands to prayer at heart center, index knuckles rooting together. That's gonna to give you some balance. Lifting up from the pelvic floor up through here, lifting your heart. If that feels stable, arms can come up. Find one point in front of you that you can stare at, maybe on the corner of your screen or something. Take one more breath in and a breath out. Now, if your hands are up, try keeping them up. If you need to put them back, you can. Pull the knee in towards your chest for figure four chair. Bend your knees, cross the ankle on the knee we're sitting down. There you go. Hands to prayer once you're here. Option, hands on the ankle and the knee. Keep lifting up through your chest though. And then you take your left hip, it's trying to stick to the left, pull it back towards the back right corner of your mat, flexing the right foot to protect the right knee. Cool, we got a nice transition into warrior three from here, so nice and easy. Mindful movements, come back up. I want your hands of prayer to begin. And then if you wanna take them overhead, you can. Stay where you are, I'm rotating sideways. From here, the foot is flexed. I'm starting to tilt forward as the leg extends back. Counterbalancing, 
Left leg is strong, but it can be bent. If you need your hands on the ground, do it. Supported warrior three. Flexing the back foot, lower the right hip down, and push the heel back. Heart forward, heel back, lengthen the crown of the head forward. Remember, hands can always be down here on the ground, and you can bend your knee as much as you need to. And then we're coming back, so swinging the pendulum the other way, pulling the knee back into your chest as you lift your heart, and then step your feet together. Great work. Hips go side to side, and we'll just get ready to do the other side from here. Now, same thing on the other side. Pulling your left knee in towards your chest, give it a hug. Give yourself some love. And for tree pose, the foot can go anywhere. Just avoid the knee. Hands to prayer, heart center. Push the index knuckles together for grounding if needed. Option, arms up overhead. Lifting from the pelvic floor, feel the energy. It's grounding from your foot and you're pulling it all the way up. Great work, knee is out to the side, out, out. I think I'm from Canada now. Get ready for figure four chair. Pull the knee in towards your chest. Cross the ankle on the knee, sit down, and you'll notice your hips try to go back to the right. Pull your right hip back to the left instead. Opening up through the glute medius here on the left side. Hands can be at ankle and knee as well. That feels nice if that tickles your fancy. And then for warrior three, knee to chest, flex the foot, strengthen the leg, start to tilt as you drive the leg back, bend your knee as much as you need to. Well done, stay there. Keep pushing the heel back and then lower your left hip a little bit here too. So it kind of wants to pull up, so point your toes down. Strengthen the right leg. You can even try pushing the right hip back with your right thumb. Lift the leg a little higher for one more breath. And then as we tilt the other way, lift your chest up, pull the knee in toward your chest, and then step your feet together. You're a rock star. Coming to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Step back to plank. And let's take one nice chaturanga here, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward dog, or cobra. Oh, that felt nice. Exhale, downward dog. Good work. For half pigeon, shift forward, bring the knee towards your right wrist ankle towards your left wrist, drop the back knee, slide the knee back, so take the pressure out of the knee, put it in the hip. If you need to take this on your back, take this on your back and just cross your right ankle on your left knee and pull it in towards your chest. Otherwise, if we're in pigeon here, flexing the right foot, keeping the hips nice and squared and centered rather than off to the side. Take in one more nice full breath. Good work. For a seated spinal twist, let's do this. Sit your hips to the right. Take the left foot all the way around in front of you. Sweep it and then plant it on the right side of the knee. Hands by your sides. We want to get both sitting bones on the ground. If you're having trouble with that, take your right foot and then just put it straight forward. Otherwise, left hand behind you to prop, it, prop your spine up, reach the right arm up, breathe in. And exhale as you twist to the left, either hold the knee or hook the shoulder outside the knee. Get tall, breathe in. Look to the left, breathe out. Good, every inhale your spine gets a little bit taller, crown of the head up. Every exhale you find that rotation. You're using your left hand to find the height. There you go, back through center, over to the right side, take one counter breath, gentle twist, and then 
back to center. Just take both legs, extend them straight forward. Flexing the feet, hands by your sides for a nice seated forward fold here. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, fold forward. Grab whatever you can, maybe your big toes with your peace fingers. Breathe in, heart forward. And as you exhale, fold. Now quadriceps are strong because I want to protect my hamstrings and give them the flexibility. So I'm squeezing the top here to pull the kneecaps up. And then I'm trying to tilt my pelvis back. So the tailbone goes out and the heart goes forward. Navel is up and in. Chin is forward towards my shins. And I'm pulling forward rather than just down. One more breath in. And a breath out. Very nice, y'all. Come on back up. We're going to go to half pigeon on the left side. If you want to go back through a down dog and a vinyasa, you can do that. Another way to do it, just take your right foot, bring it behind you, bend your left knee, and then set up for pigeon with your left shin forward. Keep swinging the right knee behind you until you're centered. Use your hands. Push your knee back. Push your foot back. Center yourself, lengthen the heart forward as you come down onto your forearms as a possibility. You can also come all the way down if that's accessible for you. Now we want the heart centered, we want the hips squared. Breathe a few times there. And then when you're ready, sit to the left side. Right foot sweeps all the way around in front of you. Plant the foot on the left side of the left knee. Right hand is your prop this time because we're twisting to the right. Left arm up, breathe in, get tall. But exhale, rotate, hug the knee or shoulder outside the knee to twist. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, rotate, both sit bones grounded. If needed, bottom leg is extended. That'll help you get both sitting bones on the ground there. Nice work. One counter twist to the left. Breathe in. Exhale, twist. And then back to center. Inhale. Both legs. Let's extend them forward. So I'm just going to face you here. Take the right knee. Bend it. And then open the knee to the side. Place the heel towards the pubic bone. For John and Shirshasana, just think tree pose. So rotate the navel to the left. Breathe in. And as you exhale, fold, grab for the foot. Maybe you just grab the, sh the, the calf or the ankle. Inhale. Full exhale. Give me one more of those. And slow and steady, we'll come back up for the other side. Navel towards the right, get tall, breathe in. And fold forward, breathe out, chin towards your shin. Nice and easy, back up. Extend both legs forward, we'll take it down the middle just one more time here. Spread your chest, get tall, inhale, and exhale, fold, grab whatever is accessible. Heart forward, and hinge forward. Come on back up. Spread your chest, stay where you are. From here, just bend your knees and pull them up as your feet are planted. Mindful movement at home. So, reach your arms forward. We're starting on the fronts of our sitting bones. So you'll notice you can go like back to forward on your sitting bones. So we're starting all the way forward. Sit up tall. From here, reach your arms forward. Keep your knees together. Round your spine. You'll roll to the backs of your sitting bones now. 
tailbone will tuck under, and then one at a time, feel each of your vertebrae as it touches the ground. Mindful movement, controlled, steady. Yes. Mm -hmm. Slower, slower. Mm -hmm. We're getting there, almost there. And then you make it to your back. So let's do this. Bend your knees. I'll take a supported bridge pose. So start by emptying your lungs. Feet are hips width distance apart. And on inhale, push your feet down, lift your hips up. Interlace your fingers behind your lower back and then start to walk your shoulders together underneath you. Shimmy the shoulders together. So now the shoulders, rather than going towards your ears, Take them down your back, spread your chest, and really use your shoulders to open up your upper back and your chest. Your neck is still chin towards your chest, but you're really pushing down into the shoulders there to find that openness in your thoracic spine. One more breath in. And as you release your hands, release the shoulders, come onto your back. Feet go as wide as the mat, let your knees touch. And windshield wipe your knees from right to left. Okay, we're gonna do that again and focus on something different. So feet, hips width distance apart, bring them a little closer together. Hands by your sides, exhale the air from your lungs. On inhale, push your feet down, lift your hips up, clasp your hands, shimmy the shoulders together. Push the shoulders down, lift your chest up. Now your rib cage, rather than squeezing your abs, I want you to suck your abs in and expand your rib cage as wide as you can. Lifting through the rib cage, expanding the heart space. Your lungs, are you're creating more space for your lungs here. Navel in, one more breath, and release. Good, good. Feet wide, knees touch, windshield wiper, then back and forth. And we're gonna do one more. So feet are hips with distance apart, hands by your sides, empty your lungs. Push down, inhale, lift up. Interlace, shimmy, press, lift, Expand the ribs, and now push the feet down. Use your glutes to drive the hips just an inch higher. There you go. Keep expanding through the ribs. Keep pushing the feet down. Lift, 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 and let it go. Killing the game. Pull the knees in towards your chest. Give them a nice tight squeeze. And let's take a twist. So for our twist today, put your feet down, take your left foot straight forward, pull the right knee in towards your chest, and then extend the right leg straight up in the air. So you can hold the back of your leg here. Then reach your right arm out with your left hand, hold the outside of the knee, look towards your right thumb, and then start to lower the foot over toward the left side. Keep your right shoulder grounded. Go as far as you can, keeping the shoulder grounded. Keep looking towards the right and release the tension in your low back to let you go. Oh, that feels good. Take one more big breath and release. Back through the center. You can use your hand, hold the back of your leg, and then we're going to put it back down, switch the legs. So you can just do it nice and easy. You can also scissor the legs if you want to have some fun. Put the right foot down. Now the left hand is going to reach to the left. The right hand holds the outside of the knee or the thigh. Look left and slowly lower the foot towards the right, keeping the left shoulder grounded. Yeah, I'm a little tighter on this side. You might notice the same thing for yourself. One side is 
more open, the other side is a bit more tight. Just notice it. Get to know your body. One more full breath. Good, back to center. And let's put that leg back down. We'll take a plow pose here to decompress the lumbar. So for plow pose, a nice, actually no, we'll go shoulder stand first. So for shoulder stand, you can go straight up into a candlestick from there. You could also sweep the legs behind you. I'm gonna teach you how to do that. If you know shoulder stand, just get into it. If you're trying to learn it, try this. Yeah, you can put your hands on the ground here. Let's put your hands on the ground and then use a little bit of momentum to pull the knees in and up, lift the hips. Then from there, I wanna get my hands on my lower back, shimmy the shoulders together, and then lift the feet up. Now, if my elbows are too far apart, I won't have enough of a supportive base. So the elbows might need to come closer together for you. Keep your head perfectly still. Don't look over at the screen. Keep pointing your toes, lifting from the toes. Head is nice and still. There you go. Draining the lymphatic system. If you have a ponytail, you might have to move it before getting into this. Great. Take one more breath. And then from here, we're going to plow pose. So point your toes, keep your legs strong, and with control, bring the feet towards the ground behind you. At some point, your hands can come down to the ground for counter support. Decompressing the spine. Good job. Head nice and still. Take a couple more breaths there. And then as you bend your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest, use your core muscles, use your arms as breaks, slowly again, one vertebra at a time, onto your back. Ah, legs long for fish pose. Matsyasana, let's finish it off here. Hold the back of your thighs, elbows together, lift your heart, breathe in, head back. Keep popping your chest up. And then release. Come on down, let's take a nice Shavasana here together for a moment or so. Finding stillness. Ah. <sighs> Let your legs open wide, let your feet fall to the side, palms face up to release anything else that you're holding on to, to release your intention for practice, to release control of your breath. Open yourself up to receive. Just a few more breaths here in gratitude. And feel free to stay right there. Let this play through to the end. Take a couple extra moments for yourself in Shavasana. Or if you're ready, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Reach the arms back. Stretch. And roll over onto your side and press up to an easy seat. You can elevate your pelvis here in your seat if you would like. Bringing your hands together in gratitude. One full breath together to seal our practice. Inhale through your nose, all the way in the biggest breath of the day. Hold it at the top. Take one more sip of air in. Swallow. Hold it. 
One more sip, like a straw, hold it at the top of your head. And as you exhale, relax. Bow your chin towards your chest. Until next time, from my heart to yours, namaste.